Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to spy elements from Windows application. So that we can do using application modeler. So first we need to create objects for that one. So let me create an object, click on file, click on new, then click on business objects. And then here we need to enter the name for that business objects. So this will be a UI demo automations okay so i'm going to use ui demo application for this one now click on next now here we can enter spy elements from windows application ui demo now click on this click on finish now it will open that objects this one now click on this application modeler we need to define a new application model for this UI demo application. So I'm going to show you how to spy the elements, this username elements and then password, this text box elements and then button and then capture the details here. So I'm just going with this UI demo automation. Click on next. This is Windows application and then my application is launched from an executable file yes i'm going to launch this one click on next here i'm going to select the path from where that application will be launched so click on download so this is the application that i'm going to launch click on open now next so you can enter the parameters i'm not going to enter here click on next click on next here click next click finish okay now this is the application modeler from here we can spy the elements so just click on that let me put here this is the login page okay and then we are going to launch this one so click on launch okay so we just now launched this application and now we can start identifying this element start spying the elements and capture the details of that elements okay now click on this and click on child so that like we can capture all the elements which is a part of this login page so element change the name rename this name with the username text box and then click on identify so you can see here top right side we are getting here the option using the identification tool windows 32 by default it's coming as a win 32 mode and using this identification tool we can spy the elements okay so if you see currently we are not getting highlights on this elements so how can we do that so let me first change the spy mode how can we change the spy mode we need to press alt key so if you we'll press alt key and then see if you are able to do that no still not you're not able to get that press alt a one more time and then you can see using accessibility mode using the identification tool accessibility mode we are able to get this elements here right now just highlight here and then control and left click okay now click on one more element and then click uh, right here password text box and now click on identify now you can see when we are using this win32 mode it is not working right so we'll press alt key one more time alt key and then we have accessibility mode and then just highlight here and then press control left click okay now click on element and then here put here login button login button now click on identify again we need to press alt key alt key and then click on control left click Okay, now we need to just click on highlight just to make sure that whatever we have spied, we have identified that's working fine or not. So let's select, click on highlight. Now you can see it is highlighting both the text box. Okay, that is wrong. So how can we just identify only one element for username and this is for other element. If you'll see for username, for password, for both the elements which which we captured is showing both one now click on login button and highlight this so for this one it's working fine because we have only one button 
now so let's search for the username in username let's say um, i'm going to look at this one this count is one checked false true 23 height is 23 this is false text is unknown and then with this 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 let me click on password so this 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 okay so change the changes we are getting here i think this uh, a y in a x a y so a x is 111 but a y is getting changed 91 134 you can see here this one this is 91 and this is 134 and then now let me find out any other unique value which shows that it is for username and this is for password sometime for few of the applications we do not get some specific name in the attribute so we have to go with the the id so let me go with the ax and ay because this will be always fixed so we can go with this i think ay is also okay the x ay okay now click on highlight so this is for username now click on password and check this 134 okay now it's going to highlight password so by this way we can identify the elements 